Good evening, everyone. It's truly a pleasure to be here. My name is Ben Peters, and it certainly is an honor uh, to be here tonight to celebrate Kristen and Clint. And first off, let me thank uh, Mr. and Mrs. Morgan for this wonderful venue. I mean, everything has been fantastic. So how about a round of applause for those guys? Yes. And I would also uh, be remiss if I didn't mention, where's Belinda? Miss Riddle last night for the rehearsal dinner. Everything was fantastic. So thank you for that as well. Uh, so Kristen, you look beautiful tonight. How about a round of applause for her as well? She looks absolutely gorgeous. We'll get to you later. Yeah. This is a toast and not a roast, right? Or is it a roast? It's supposed to be a toast. It's a roast? Perfect. Perfect. All right. Good deal. Anyway, uh, again, uh, Doug and Teresa, you've done a marvelous and fantastic job uh, raising this young woman over here to be the thoughtful and caring person she is. I know you guys are extremely proud, as you should be. So, again, great job. Uh, Miss Belinda, I know you and Tink did the best you could with Clint. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Anyway, uh, so for those of you that don't know, Clint and I first met uh, our freshman year at NC State way back in 19, 1998. That's correct. Hard to believe it's been about 19 years ago. Uh, we were actually suite mates uh, in the same dorm. And uh, we first found out we had a lot in common for sports and hunting and uh, really was the genesis of a great friendship between the two of us. That's when I also learned about what I call today the Clint clock. It's not really a, a clock, it's, it's a metaphor uh, and a way to really keep time with Clint. And all it really means is that if you're going anywhere, you give Clint at least two hours before you're supposed to be there and then you'll only maybe be about an hour late. <laughs> yeah. But in all seriousness, it, it is really great to see you guys happy uh, tonight. It really is. It's really great to see you guys uh, happy together as well, as well. It's pretty clear to everyone how happy you guys are. It's also pretty quite clear that you have way outplanned your coverage and done a lot better than you should have, my man. Uh, yeah. So pretty work there by my man Clint, right? Yeah, we are all in agreement there. You are a, a very proud member of the Dunlop Bear You Should Have Club, uh, for sure. Uh, but anyway, uh, in, in all seriousness, uh, Clint, you have really been a wonderful friend to me. It, it's been said before that a friend in need is truly a friend indeed. And you have typified that statement uh, throughout the years. And uh, it's truly been one of God's greatest blessings to have you as my best friend. It really means a lot. All right, enough of that. So, so let's move on to a toast. And before we, before we get to the toast, I want you to pay attention because when we raise our glasses here shortly, I want you to raise yours slightly higher than Kristen's. And I want you to relish this opportunity because it'll be the absolute last time you have the upper hand. <laughs> so if we could all raise our glasses real quick to Kristen and Clint. I wish you both all the happiness and success you both deserve. May your love be modern enough to survive the times, but old fashioned enough to last forever. To Christian and Clint. Amen. Hey everybody. I don't know if I can quite work the room like Ben did, so I'll try my best. Um, and I'm not much of a public speaker, so forgive me. But um, for those of, you, those of you that don't know me, my name is Bailey, um, and Chris and I have been friends since we were kids. Um, we actually met each other through horseback riding, and um, soon we were really young, and soon found out that our families actually lived right across the lake from one another. So. We grew up going to each other's birthday parties and sleepovers via water, not land, <laughs> in like raggedy pontoon boats and a patched up paddle boat that we weren't supposed to take out of your cove, but we did. <laughs> um, but so we were always close friends, but I do really believe that our friendship was meant to be because we went to nursing school together, we graduated together, and we actually took our big nursing license exam side by side which Kristen almost made us late for because she insisted that I stop by McDonald's 
to get her a biscuit beforehand so she could settle her nerves. <laughs> but anyways, for as long as I've been friends with Kristen, she's always dreamed about her wedding day. And I honestly still can't believe that it's really here. Um, I want both of you guys to know that I'm really so, so, so happy for you. And I really do believe that you've found the perfect match in each other. Clint, as I've got to know you more and more, I see just how good you are to Kristen. And you really do treat her like a queen. So for all you single guys, take notes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, sorry, I got off track. Um, but seriously, I can't think of anyone better for my friend to marry and walk through life with. So I want to thank you both for letting me be a part of your special day. I'm very honored to be here. And I want to wish you many, many years of love and happiness and children in the future. <laughs> Cheers. First of all, I'd like to uh, just welcome everybody here tonight. Uh, on behalf of uh, Belinda and Tink and Teresa and I, we're so excited that uh, that y'all are here to come to help us celebrate this union between Kristen and Clint. Um, I think back about 30 years ago when Teresa and I were trying to conceive. And uh, we weren't really having too much luck with that, but on July the 7th, 1989, God blessed us with Kristen. So that was one answered prayer. And uh, as far as being a child, she was really, really easy. She doesn't think she was that easy of a child to raise, but uh, she didn't give us any trouble at all. Uh, when it, she started school, we prayed again and said, God, give her good friends, friends with morals and ethics, uh, friends that will take care of her. But not only that, let her be a good friend. Let her be a friend to people, have a compassionate heart and a heart for charity. And he answered that prayer too. If you look around the room with her friends and Clint friends too, uh, just really, really good people. So she's very blessed, blessed with friends. And uh, with her youth group, she's been on mission trips uh, down to, uh, uh, to, to the mountains to help build wheelchair ramps. and paint houses and just uh, maybe sit on the port porch with the Witterer, Witterer. And uh, during college, went down to New Orleans uh, twice to help with Katrina. She planned her wedding, I think, on the first trip down, or second trip to New Orleans. <laughs> so, so uh, uh, and in, in, in the last few years, working with uh, Samaritan's Purse. So God has blessed her with a heart of charity. Now, when it comes to boyfriends, we had a little bit of little bit of work there. Uh, I think in fisherman's terms, she kept bringing home carp and catfish. Not anything you want to mount and hang on the wall. So we prayed again. Said God, send her a boy with a future. Not only with a future for himself, but a future that's big enough to hold Kristen and a family. And I think Kristen put it this way. She wanted a she wanted a boyfriend with the three C's, a Christian, a career, and a country boy. <laughs> so God, God answered that prayer and sent, sent Clint. And I think the second time he came to the house, he had a shoe in to win the parents over. He had a three-pound puppy in his jacket pocket, <laughs> little tipper. So uh, it's been neat for Teresa and I to kind of watch over the last three years their, their relationship nurture and grow for them to learn each other's likes and dislikes and uh, just grow closer together. So, um, Kristen and Clint, one of the reasons that I wanted to do this little story this way is just to remind you guys that God's been in your life all your life. And also your family and friends have been here for you. Uh, not only are we here now, we'll be here in the future. So, uh, uh, with that, I'd like to give my toast Everybody raise your glass. Kristen and, Clint, Kristen and Clint never lie, cheat, or steal. But if you must lie, lie with the one you love. If you must cheat, cheat death. If you must steal, steal a kiss. Cheers. <laughs>